Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday, April 21st. Total crypto market cap leads per trading view. Slightly up. So we've kind of slightly bounced back from our three to four day slump about a week ago. Uh, so we're sitting just above 2 trillion. Altcoins sitting at 980 billion. Looks like, as compared to our two charts, just anecdotally, um, altcoins have bumped or performed better than BTC um, over the last 48 hours. Looking at um, market cap domin uh, dominance, that would tell the same story. As you can see, Bitcoin here, uh, dominance has dropped below 52%, which it hasn't in a long, long time. When was the last time Bitcoin's dominance was at 52? Way back in the day. Yep, so we have to go back to the way to all the way to August 2018 for us to actually see a time when Bitcoin dominance was back below 52%. A port city, always talking gems. We've got some good organ. I think we've got some good organizations today. We'll see. Yep, and this tells the story. The last 24 hours has been solid for, for crypto and especially for altcoins. Perpetuals, central exchanges, and lending and borrowing lead the way. And no one's really down. Tourism's down over the last 24 hours, just 1.6%. Let's see if total value locks also bounce back up. It did on DeFi Pulse. It did on DeFi Llama, even better on DeFi Llama. And the Binance Smart Chain actually went down, surprisingly. Very rarely that the Binance Smart Chain goes down. Looking at large volume, see if we have any outliers here very quickly. Pancake swap for sure. We never really see pancake swap this high on the volume. 1.9 billion. Monero. Monero's been there a few days now. BitTorrent and Stellar. Hey, Eric. Good to see you. Here's our first organization of the day. We've got um, Civitas Fundamenta. Let's see if we have the FTMNTA. There it is. Fundamenta. Awesome. So there's our token on the right-hand side. We've got about a $2.53 price. We're up 73%, so should have talked about this yesterday. Um, we've got 18 million in circulate in total supply, excuse me. So we've got about, you know, 2.53 times 18 million. We're looking at about a $45 million um, valuation at the moment. And that's total supply. So we don't know the circulating supply. So we're $45 million or below for our, for our valuation. Price performance has been very good recently. So we did go from all time lows back in November of six cents. Um, and now we're up to 253. So well done if you're investing in this at six cents back in the DeFi summer, or the summer of DeFi, excuse me. Here it is. We're bridging the, the divide between compliance and decentralization. So they're building wrapped assets like Bitcoin and Monero and a multi chain ecosystem. Cool. So it seems like Ren, multi chain bridge for multi networks, multi chain wrapped assets. Awesome. Would love that. Staking rewards and liquidity mining, of course. We need those. Cool, and they call it Civiport, which is their cross-chain digital asset teleportation. It's very cool. Let's see their white paper. Cool. They do have a legitimate white paper here that's somewhat long. And then I think we have a public team, which I saw some people. There we are. There is our public team, which is great. Love to, love to see a public team. And they actually have an app as well. So for less than $45 million, um, could get in on could get in early especially with their liquidity mining and their token staking looks like that's all we can do right now i think this is a great way for an organization to start is to say we're building something come along for the ride and then just come over here and provide liquidity for us while we continue to build and you can kind of like pre-farm there it is we can add a position with looks like fmta usdc or FMTA ETH. Cool. And then we could also stake as well. And I'm sure if we went to staking, we'd be staking the M FMTA token. There it is. So of our 18 million total supply, A Forest, how we doing? A CRX. Morning, integral resistance might be a rug. Ooh, interesting. That's good to know. Thank you, Port City. Um, of our 18 million total supply, we've got about 1.1 million of them t staked already. So we could come here, buy our FMTA, and stake more. Um, so it could be an interesting play. I know we've pumped recently over the last 
24, 48 hours. Um, and then they also pumped in early Feb as well. So they're building cross-chain bridge and ecosystem for wrapped assets, very much like a REN, um, but for multi-chain and cross-chain. So that's the FMTA token fundamenta. Well, wanted to quickly note for DeFi market cap, all of our links are in the description. Just want to quickly note that for DeFi market cap.io, we have this little tagging system that they have. So I can click on Uniswap V2 here next to Uniswap's name, and it will take me to all of the Uniswap V2 related assets if it loads quickly enough. There it is. So we've got Uniswap V2, then it goes to into a bunch of uh, Uniswap pools, of course, of course, because um, that's what they do. So if I went to, let's say, Synthetics, or if I went to Compound, it would show me all the different types of synthetic assets that, it, that exist out there. So not only do we have Coinbase to go and check all of these different types of assets related to a specific organization or platform, uh, we also have DeFiMarketCap.com that can give you all the different compounds. So just want to let you know there, especially for items like Curve, where Curve has such a, a vast array of different things they offer from the three Curve pool to the DAO token to St. ETH to HBTC, REN BTC. They wrap so many different assets. Curve is a sleeping giant. Moving on. Moving on to DFLAST. Um, DFLAST is swap your collateral on Compound Finance as fast as you can with DFLAST powered by Aave and Uniswap. They got a demo on YouTube. Let's check out their homepage and actually their site's not ready. Is this thing still in existence? They last, ooh, excuse me. Oh, there we go. Feb 2, they actually tweeted a year ago in March 2020 and now Feb 2nd was their last tweet. We got a vulnerability. Uh, never mind. We're actually discontinuing the front end for a while. So let, let me get off DFLAS. Sorry about that one, team. Moving on. Here's Unidex, ultimate decentralized DeFi trading terminal designed to aggregate every swap. Okay. Looks like we're um, linked up to or well, refinances um, Polkadot. This diagram actually doesn't make sense, but that's okay. Let's enter the app. We're Web3 enabled. We can connect our wallet. Hey, Eugene. Hey, Silky J. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about oil. We got oiler, oiler coming up. So this is Unidex. Unidex is, um, we got limit and market orders um, for how many assets? Quite a few assets, which is nice. So we do have a pretty clean DEX here, if you like. Um, looks like an order book DEX. And actually, no, it's based on Uniswap. So I've never actually placed a limit order here. Or we can play a, place a market order. Cool. So it looks pretty clean. Another DEX um, opportunity or option for you is Unidex. Now, I did want to find Euler. Here it is. Oil, the Euler network. Hey, Echo Mienda. Euler network. Um, hadn't seen this one in a while. And I kind of figured out what was going on here. We have blockchain native derivatives, hedging gas and network shocks. So we go over to their documentation and this is where we need to go because we pretty much have four types of options. We can based on the we can based on the price movement direction and the behavior around the strike price, we can put a pull or a, a put or a call option based on the behavior dictated by the underlying hash rate, capacity, ice age and gas option. Actually, let me go back. Here it is, hash rate binary options. Yep, so this is what we want to see. Capacity, ice age, and gas. So our hash rate, we literally have call and put options on the Ethereum network difficulty, it's, it appears. We've also got capacity options on Ethereum average gas limit shot. Also got ice age options, which I think the underlying of, an, of the Ice Age option is the average block time. So Ice Age option is an average block time option. And here you can see the average block time chart per Etherscan. And last one is a gas option, which is pretty under, understandable, uh, where we can have a put or a call option on gas prices. So as of right now, we've just got documentation for Euler Network. Um, pretty much the only website they provided was their documentation 
but on February 24, so a month ago, their team's expanding. Um, they're looking for engineers. Cool. So that's Euler Network. They're building. Oh, yeah, Lemonade. Here it is. Or actually, that's Jigstack. Yeah, I won't go into that. I didn't get into Lemonade, unfortunately, Forest. Here's Rare Stone. Um, guiding Trailblazers in Web3. Wanted to see if they had their portfolio up. I think we've got a, um, a venture capital firm or an investment firm related to Web3. So let's have a quick look at what they're doing here. We create impact for ambitious Web3 teams. Um, they've got investments, consultancy, and exposure. Now if I come up here and I click Alpha. So here's who they're working with, it looks like. And actually, let's see if there's capital. This is their portfolios. Here it is. Here's their portfolio. So here's a few names. We've got Monta Network, Credo, API3, Terra Virtua, API Finance, Kira Network, Web3, API. I haven't really heard of them. Bridge, just called Bridge. Euler, I wonder if Euler's different. Nope, Euler Network's the one we just discussed. We might have a look at some of these later, but have a look at Rare Stone. They've got a few different um, port codes here that we could be interested in. So, Ooh, yeah, Jar Jar, let me know which ones you want to chat about today. Um, I know quite a few are pumping. Here's Dev Protocol. Um, we've got Building the Creator Economy by Leveraging Social Tokens in DeFi. I think we might have looked at this in a, a while ago, but I hadn't looked at it in a while. Um, tokenizing your OSS, so your open source code, projects on GitHub in a few clicks, which I think is really cool. Ooh, Armor, that's interesting. We'll have a look at them in a second. Here's, it's time to tokenize your um, open source code. So if we can actually go straight to their app, their app's at stake.social forward slash create. Uh, we can submit an application to provide funding to your OSS project with Dev Protocol. There's also has a bunch of pools here as well where we could come in here and we could put in Dev tokens, it looks like, related to your to some tokens that are on here. So I think we've got about, well, I've got a ton of projects on here. Uh, here's one for Vasa Develop. We've, we've covered Vasa, um, who is a developer, and someone's staked, or people have staked 24,000 dev tokens. Oh. There it is. Here's the dev protocol. Wow, $12. So someone staked um, $24, 24 times 12. About two hundred eighty-eight thousand dollars on there. Uh, that's interesting. So we're just in beta right now, um, but funding the most crucial open source software, and that's they have an incubator as well. Very cool. This is awesome. So they've got a bunch of different projects down here. They've got twenty projects who can claim some dev tokens, which at 1,960 times 12 is about 23 grand. Very cool. This is amazing. So tomorrow we might actually go through and have a look at all of these. Cool, so dev protocol is a blockchain protocol that allows open source projects to sustainably fund their development. Patrons stake the dev token for projects they want to fund, the protocol then mints them new dev tokens that are split between OSS and the patron. Dev protocol is the only platform that allows both the patrons and the OSS to earn money in supporting each other. Very cool. So I would definitely check I would definitely check this out. Stakes.social and then stakes.social forward slash incubate. Very interesting. So that's dev protocol whose website is stake.social or stakes.social. want to have a quick look at Arma. Here it is. Is this the one? Port City? Armor? 
give me a little give me a little thumbs up and then we'll move forward. Yeah, armor, sweet. Here it is. So we've got about a dollar twenty-five a token. About eighty-seven million dollars in market cap. About sixty-eight, sixty-nine million um, tokens issued of the one billion in total supply. So less than ten percent issued. Um, so fully diluted value is kind of ridiculous. One point two billion. Let's check out token performance real quick. I th we haven't been around too long. Since January 23rd, so only about four months, which in crypto feels like forever, we had we did have a really nice initial pump all the way up to above a dollar eighty six or about what a dollar ninety five, and now we're de back down to a dollar twenty five. So here it is: smart DeFi asset coverage, decentralized brokerage for cover underwritten by Nexus Mutual blockchain based incentive al um, alternative. Cool. So I connect my wallet. Looks like I could add the token. They also have the AR NXM token. So we've got two, we've got the armor token, but then we also have um, AR NFTs. Buy a cover that can be sold, traded, or staked. You can also buy AR NXM, which is swap and deposit your wrapped NXM tokens and earn yield. Cool. We can also buy smart cover. And they're analyzing my wallet, which might not be a good thing live. We could also buy AR NFTs. We could stake those AR NFTs with here's here's stats on we've got about here's ETH coverage, DAI coverage, and about how many covers are open for all these different protocols. Really good, really detailed website. So we've got about four hundred and forty three covers outstanding, they say. And we've also got rewards here. So we've got yearly APIs of about a hundred a little over a hundred percent for the armor eth pool the armor wrap btc pool cool so plenty of staking pools here for your armor tokens we've also got s shield vaults which could be single-sided staking pretty impressive cool so that's the armor token i like it um i'm not the biggest fan of insurance just yet but hopefully they build it so um that insurance is available kind of like project-wide or platform-wide. But very clean application. And we really missed an opportunity there in, in late March. Moving on to... Um, I wonder if Awesome War is out there on CoinGecko. No, not yet. Looking at Awesome Wars... On-chain crypto game, love on-chain, anything on-chain. Mint NFTs, farm AW token, upgrade your NFTs, and then compete with others to battle. Cool, so we got a battle of on-chain, like, live and livable NFTs. Here they are. We got, like, a little two little guys here. So we've got a dashboard. Please use the BSC mainnet. Cool, I can switch over. Awesome, please connect MetaMask. Cool, so we could mint. The current price is 0 0.3 BNB to mint now, one of these little guys. You get different types, bonus life. You can mint one of these guys waiting for the transaction. I heard gas fees are increasing, which might be true, 0 0.2 uh, B and B per, for gas fee at about five hundred bucks. It's that's a bit much. So it's a hundred bucks to mint one of these guys. We could claim them as well. Claim zero based on your NFTs. We could enhance them. We could increase. Oh, interesting. So we're buying. Very anyone um has done the Crypto Zombies uh, Solidity course has been through this where we can give um kind of like our on-chain character attributes. So we've got standard and premium. Then we'd also fight the guys as well. We could do a full battle. That's, that'd be pretty cool. Especially if you had two whales battling each other, and then we could watch it, and they'd have to like pay money to battle. That'd be, that'd be kind of cool. So that's enough of that one for now. Um, 
that's awesome wars which is a really cool um, concept of on-chain crypto games check out node seeds all oh, the old node seeds we've had a look at them before tokenizing private sales and seed rounds um, here they are do we have a token yes we do lovely So we've got $222 per token. We've only got 100,000 um, in total supply. So we've got about a $22 million fully diluted valuation. And we haven't been trading for very long either. Uh, we've been trading since Monday, April 5th at about $100 a token, about 93. We pumped all the way up to 300, and now we're back down to 20, 222. So we've got documentation coming soon, which is weird. We've got tokenizing private sales and proceed rounds, how they're doing it, no KYC, private sales, pooling NDS and ETH LPs. Cool. They're burning NDS, so they've got some pumponomics. They've got a pitch deck. Get NDS tokens. Hold 350. So you need to hold 11 grand. Yes, yeah, it's just not realistic. Um, CRX like this is just not realistic to hold 11 grand worth of tokens for, for the average investor I just don't see this lasting very long except for private investing so very curious I'm sure some of these are going to make a lot of people a lot of money if you can get into the private groups it's just yeah be a seed investor it, it is it is a way for put up eleven thousand dollars and you can become a seed investor. So maybe it's a great deal. Maybe you're making fifty, hundred grand by you know within a couple of months. So pretty cool. And let's see the team. Hopefully they have a, a public team. There they are. I hope you trust Florian, Maxine, Jin Yang. Cool. So I'd hope that these guys have a lot of access into to get to get tokenized deals because I guess you're. Your investment in NDS tokens is only good as the private sales and seed rounds that you fund. So, a lot of risk there. But you don't have to because they pump the profits from the ICOs back into their own token. Yeah, some pumponomics, but... Um, yeah, it's just how good are the projects that are that are private rounds and the seed rounds. And if they're really good, then you'll get a lot of pro uh, profits pumped back into um, the token. So... Definitely see if they can have connections because it's easy finding rounds. It's hard getting in the rounds. Cool. So that's node seeds. Next up, we got a hurricane swap. It doesn't look like they have. They're on CoinGecko yet. Multi-chain decks for Avalanche. Here we go. Hurricane dot exchange. I'll switch over to the Avalanche C chain really quickly. ARTX has the same problem, only whales. Yeah, it seems like it. Um, so it's an interesting question. The features are coming soon for um, their launch app for the exchange. Cool. So scale your DeFi trading with Hurricane. Safe, fast, cheap, multi-chain. And we don't have much information, so everything's just um, coming soon. Do we have any documentation? Cool. So we've got a multi-chain DEX coming to her or uh, on avalanche and it's called hurricane swap and I'm sure if we have a token yet oh we got ava scan as well yeah cool so that's hurricane swap didn't find a token so whoops well, sorry one second so we'll keep track of that see if hurricane has a token eventually next one's just launchx launchx.finance zero following they joined in april 2021 nine people that i'm following follow them good they don't have any tweets so no tweets for launchx and let's see what they're doing here multi-chain decentralized ideo launchpad platform coming soon cool we can join medium we can check out medium and they just launched six days ago. Cool. So we just got a landing page, um, and that's LaunchX. So not much to see there. 
Next one is Verso. Verso Finance, decentralized marketplace coming, connecting DeFi to traditional finance. Let's see what this one looks like. Yeah, so it looks like they're a payments business. Decentralized financial product marketplace. Cool. Do we have a team? Uh, we've got a, a love, live team. So uh, Gregor, Ivan, awesome. Incubated by Avalanche. We've got another Avalanche t uh, project and also TrustSwap. Cool. So it looks early days. We'll skip Verso for now. Um, but Avalanche project for decentralized marketplaces on, on the Avalanche blockchain. And payments it looks like as well. Oops. Next one's Polka Cipher. We got a cross-chain oracle focused towards NFT privacy for businesses, community governance, multi-chain interoperability. Seems like they're trying to do everything here. That's a lot of buzzwords. Here we go. Here's Tim. There we go. Tim's our CEO of Polka Cipher. So that's nice. So less chance of a rug if Tim is real. Based in the UK. Let's have a look at it. We got a cross-chain oracle. Powered by Polkadot, so we certainly don't have a live DAP yet. Cross-chain privacy. Cool, cool, cool. So we've just got a bunch of information. Let's check out the team. There it is. We've got Tim and Lawrence. That's about it. So very early days for Polka Cypher as well. And I didn't see um, a token yet. So... No token yet, but probably one in the future. Moving on to hype. The reason, I think we've chatted about hype before, but the reason I found it was um, we I saw something based from NT, NFTX. This is Snapshot. And there was a grant request for M, in the N, NFTX Snapshot for hype and NFTX ecosystem project. So, intended to give out a builder grant for the founder squad working on Hype, which is an NFT social platform for people connecting with each other. So, bullish for um, NFTX is the building of the Hype protocol, kind of a social layer for your NFTs. Next one's Declimate. Yeah, their price has dropped a lot, hasn't there? Um, we were chatting about it yesterday with their miso offering that's coming up. That miso offering's huge. We'll chat for sushi sushi swap in just a second. Here's Declimate, a decentralized network for climate change. Let's have a look. Their last tweet, their pin tweet was Feb one. Well, that's when they introduced themselves. So it's a decentralized marketplace where climate data models and forecasts are standardized, monetized, and distributed. Awesome. They're using Chainlink, so bullish on Chainlink. Cool, let's check it out. Here it is, introducing Declimate, Decentralized Network for Climate Change. We can read the white paper. And it kind of looks like a, a white paper-ish type paper. Uh, we've got founders. There we go, here's our team. Four founding partners right here. Looks like they're all related to Arbol. What the hell is Arbol Inc? Hmm. Can't tell what Arbol is quickly, but we have a brand new organization, Declimate, Decentralized Network for Climate Change. So you can have a look at them. It's very early days for them. Oh yeah, I wanted to quickly first sushi swap. Miso sushi. Um, excuse me. Whenever I think of miso and sushi now, I just think of automatically crypto. I don't think of um, actual food. Here we go, instant miso. This is my most bullish thing about uh, sushi swap right now. We've got Miso Factory, we talked about this yesterday. Miso Market, Miso Launcher, Fermenter, Recipes, all coming. I think it's coming to, to SushiSwap very soon. 
if we go to documentation, it takes us in here. And there it is, start your sushi with experience with a nice hot miso. So really, really smart to do initial token offerings. And if we actually check the sushi price, market cap is what we want to focus on. You know, we're at $1.9 billion in market cap, $13, $14 a token. We've got most of our tokens issued. We've got 149 million issued of 215, which is nice. Now, if we come and look at our chart, we do have a recent linear chart kind of tells the story. We do have a recent decreasing period here. We got up to 23 bucks. We're all the way back down to 12. So for a very established organization, um, very understandable that, that they're going to go back to all-time highs, whether it's in a week, a month, or two months. We, we don't know. So good buying opportunity. And what I also want to check was market cap, which looks similar. Market cap's taken a hit um, just recently from a linear perspective. It got back up to 3.2 billion. And now we're back down to 1.9. So good opportunity for SushiSwap. Moving on to Fabric, Fabric DAO, a new message protocol for the open web. Let's see if we have any information here. Uh, yes, I found this article that I wanted to chat about. Um, cool. On April 19th, so two days ago, they just put up a type form. Here it is. We'll send over the next steps so that you'll be able to attend our open web community conference on May 14th. Let me drop this into the chat so you guys can get all hooked up. There we go. Cool. So Fabric. We have Fabric... DAO, who is doing an open web community conference on May 14th that we can sign up for. Cool. Um, also, wanted to chat. Fabric DAO um, retweeted this post by Mr. P. Mirror, who works at Via Mirror. And I wanted to quickly chat and have a look. Um, come for the creator, stay for the economy. So it's, this is talking about creator economies, and they've got a wonderful little table down here that kind of talks about our phases. Um, here it is. I think successful creator-focused protocols will go through three phases, and we're going through these phases at the moment. Hey, and one play 5 as a community, um, you'll kind of relate to this, where we go through creator mode, organization mode, and then a protocol economy. And as you can probably tell, we're probably, well, we'll find out where we are. In the creator mode, you know that we have a goal, coordination, value capture, permissioning. So in the creator mode, it's sell crypto native products, individual, single wallet, EOA, and single signature. So if we were to tokenize our community, this is where we'd be. We'd be in the creator mode, or we'd be somewhere in the middle with org mode. Build a crypto native community, business, squad, collective community, mini DAO, social community token, multi-sig. This is where we'd live. And then if we really wanted to make it legit, we would go from creator mode to org mode into protocol economy. And this is where our, our people in our community have wanted to do this. And I've been a, we've been a little bit hesitant just because, you know, we're bull market. We need to take advantage. But um, we could actively participate in a community-owned and operated economy. If we had a valuation proposition, put out a plan, I would want to write about a 12-month, 24-month, you know, operating plan. We'd have a DAO. We'd have a protocol to open. It would be multi-signature as well. So I thought this was a really good kind of visualization of just showing the flow from... Um, which a lot of founders, instead of starting a, f a startup and trying to raise a, a seed round... Maybe it's just you start off as a creator, you build a community, then you build a protocol economy. So I'll stop there. But um, really, really good article that I think the description's in the notes. Moving on. Moving on to Mesh Finance on a mission to bring DeFi to 1 billion humans. So let's check this out. When They joined in March 2021, so they're reasonably new. They're inviting early adopters to Mesh Finance at their beta. Sweet. Ooh, Armor accepts wire and NFTs insurance. That's pretty cool. If we have a look at Mesh.Finance, designed to earn you more. We've got choose risk. So we've got high risk, medium risk, and low risk coming soon. We connect our wallet. I'll probably have to go back to Ethereum. Governance is coming soon. I can go here and deposit um, some money. Here's the 
it's hard to see, but here's the actual diagram. We put money into the mesh community. The mesh community puts it into Ave Compound, Uniswap, Wire, and DYDX Alpha, and then they th roll it back in. Cool. This actually looks really, really interesting. Uh, let's check out our documentation. Mesh finance, community of traders, developers, finance people make it easy to use decentralized financial products. Cool. And do we have a team? Here it is. Initially, Mesh Finance is led by the Merdrex team. Over time, Mesh will be led by Mesh Community. Cool. So there, we've already got a, a leg up because Mesh is being built by Merdrex, and Merdrex has already been building for a while, which is nice. They've already got 20,000 users. Cool. Kind of bullish. Kind of bullish on Mesh Finance. So Merdrex is going decentralized. Freaking love combo tokens. I just can't do a transaction there. There it is. We're up 20%, $2.32. Still a steal, in my opinion, at $20 million market cap. What a deal. And we got a big opportunity here, too. I was looking at them the other day. We got a $6.97 uh, all time high. And we're sitting down here at 2 bucks. And I haven't seen a better multi transaction crypto Web3 enabled tool than for a combo. You feel like a wizard when you do a transaction that you know does five or ten different swaps and it all happens at the same time. It's awesome, but it, the transactions do cost a hundred bucks. So, trade off. Um, I think a couple more today. We've got Ondo protocol. Yep, exactly. Yeah, I, I was trying to stay to the one week credence forest and then I, I was really struggling, but I'll have to get back on it. Here's risk marketplaces for decentralized finance. It's coming soon. And I don't know if we have any info, info on this one. Well, I thought I'd tell you about this one. We've got to be got to be on top of these. So that's Ondo Protocol. And last one for today, Nifty Base. Nifty Base is the first NFT platform built with gov programmable virality. I like this. To me, this says decentralizing distribution. Follow for exclusive drops and announcements. Let's go and check this out. So they joined Twitter in March 2021. Um, cool. Announcing details. Here we go. First drop, the Talismanic Dolls collection, April 25th at 9 p.m. So we're, we're early. This is good. It's going to be on niftybase.org. Let's check out niftybase.org. Hopefully it loads. Here we go. So Nifty Base, we can connect our wallet. We can purchase these little guys for one ETH that look like little space helmets. Looks like it's a digital file, so you can click on it and then you'll have a little digital file. Cool, here's the artist bio, Brazilian born contemporary, Brazilian born contemporary artist, so it might be, might be famous. This is a pretty cool little dap. Not bad. And we connect our wallet as well. Cool. And they're on Rinkby. Cool. So on Rinkby, you can't even purchase one, but they're coming soon. So that's interesting. Nifty Base, um, and that's their first drop is with those with that Brazilian artist. Cool. Well that's it for today, team. How are we doing? Up three point seven percent. I really think we're in um Bitcoin I think is a great buy under sixty. Um Ethereum less so. Ethereum's been doing really well actually for the last twenty four hours. I wish, really wish I had bought some during that dip. God, that was stupid. Uh, Binance is doing well. We're up above 550, so they're in they're in rarefied atmosphere. Let's quickly check large movers because this page has been absolutely crazy all week. This page is less crazy today, but we've still got a lot of organizations with triple-digit yield. Foundry DAO Logistics, I actually saw them yesterday and hadn't heard of them. We've got a lot of dog tokens coming out right now, like Kisha Inu, 
And actually, we've looked at bird money before. Bird money's come back. Here's Foundry Dow. Is Foundry Dow legit? Keisha, Keisha Inu, which has, look at how many token supplies. It's just ridiculous. This, what is that, 100 quadrillion um, in total tokens for Keisha Inu, the Kishu token. Um, and of course the price is going up. We only launched on Tuesday yesterday. Yeah, if you want to go and really throw 100 bucks and try to make 17 million, go and throw it in Kisha Inu maybe. Actually, don't do that. Don't play those games. We've also got Bird Money. I think Bird Money's legit. Um, they're up 79% for the last 24 hours. We, they've been around for quite a while. They've got their Oracle Analytics app, which looks like it's live now. We need to connect to... to actually, no, we got to connect to Coven, so let's do that real quick. Cool. So they've got three different nodes that are active on Coven. Oh, cool. There we go. Our off-chain Oracle and analytics on ID got a 90% score. Cool. So early days, but beta testing for bird net for bird money on Coven. Because I thought they'd been around for a, for a while. Yeah, they've been around since November. God, we're going to make a lot of money this year. This is going to be great. If we have a look at DeFi really quickly. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm unsure, you know? I do think that all of these monies that go into Dogecoin, into Kisha Inu and all of that, well, once they're in crypto, even if once the pump and dump's over, they're going to stay in crypto, which, which is nice. So I have a feeling once you buy Dogecoin, um, you're not really going to go back to fiat and go back to stocks anymore. You're looking for another crypto, which is really nice. So we're going to be have a lot of bag holders. Um, and I think that's what's just going to drive massive, massive demand come Q3, Q4 this year. Because it's really easy right now. A lot of, I don't know if with you guys for friends and family, um, it's really easy to get someone to buy a coin on a central exchange and go and buy someone Binance, Coinbase, one of those. But the second we get them onboarded to a MetaMask or a MetaMask competitor, um, that's when I think we'll really start to pump. Cool, so some decent performance for... Um, uh, D5 over the last 24 hours. Not a lot of coins in the top 100 that are that are down. Let's go and have a look at one of my favorite pages, page number three for DeFi. Cool. We've got art governance is down 10%, down 17%. A lot of these tokens that are small DeFi tokens are really down bad. They're really down a lot, excuse me. Flamingo Finance could be an interesting one. Ah, now we missed the pump. Well, that's probably where we'll end it today. Looking at some small DeFi coins. Thanks, everyone, for joining. Really appreciate it. We'll be back at this tomorrow. What is it, Wednesday? Yeah, we'll be back at this tomorrow. Hit the like button before we go. Come join us in the in the re, in the Discord in the research channel. I'll chat with you there. And um, happy crypto trading. Definitely, I've left myself with not enough money on the sideline the last week or two, so I missed the dip. But kind of watched it happen. So just a reminder: always have some money on the sidelines. So in ETH and in stable coins, and actually with with in the native token of whatever blockchain you're using too. So. Thanks everyone again. We'll see you. We'll be back at it tomorrow. See you team.